Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how you can delete the photo you have uploaded in Firebase and Vue.js. Sorry guys for recording the video too late, like I was super busy in the last few weeks, so I hope I can record video normally after this. And here is the example. When you select the image, sometimes you select the wrong image and you want to delete that one. I have already done, I am going to give you the example and I will show you how you can do it behind the scene also. So if I come to my desktop, I have a few images here ready. I'm going to select the painting and it should upload the painting in the Firebase. So my internet connection is super super slow today. That's why it will take some time. But if you come to the storage here, let's see if it uploads. When it uploads, it should yeah, show the available download here. This is the download link and this is the image. And we have an X icon here. If you click on that one, it should remove it. Not only from the page, also from the storage here. So if I refresh it, it is a little tricky because in the documentation they didn't mention how you can delete a uh, image from the URL of or from the download URL. So I will show you how you can do that one. Let's see the image we have here and I will delete it now. So here we have our painting.png. So if I come here and click on the X icon, it remove it. It says image deleted it is instantly delete from here and then send the request to the server and it will delete that from the server too and if i come here i don't think if they have any refresh button here but i can switch between database and storage so that we can see we do not have that image in the product directory here going to the product directory Oops, we are still in the database. So here we go. We do not have the pending that p pending that png here. It was deleted from here. So let's see how I did that behind the scene, and you will learn something new. First of all, if I come here, this was where uh, we were displaying our image. A for loop here is starting, and this for loop is going to display every image array we upload there with an 80 pixel of width. And then I have an X icon here, just an X, and I have designed it also. So the classes deleted images. If someone click on this one, it is going to call the delete image. We are going to pass the URL of that image as well as the index of this array. The index of array because we want to remove this from the array list we have here. And so the designing is simple. If I come to the at the bottom of the page for the CSS, we just put a little of position of absolute and we give some uh, top minus number so it should be at the top and left also a minus number so that is how it is appearing in the corner of the image and if i scroll up again for the function delete image is scrolling down here is the delete image it will accept the image as well as the index of that array and first of all it is going to take the image from this storage Remember here, when you are going to take the image, just do not say storage.ref. As we have already done here, we say storage.ref and you just pass the reference. You should use the storage.ref from URL and it is going to give you the exact URL of that image you have here. If you pass it, it is not the exact URL. But if you are calling the ref from URL, you are going to get the exact URL of that image. Then you have the image stored in a variable. You can say this dot product first of all it is going to remove that product from the array list you have, you have here images splice index will show the position and it will remove one of them so here is the images we have product dot image if you have any it will remove the image with the current index then it is going to delete the reason i put it up here it it should like it is super super fast for deleting then it is going to send the HTTP request to the server and it is going to delete after deleting successfully it will console.log that image was deleted you can write this step at the bottom of the page but it will take time to process all of this and then it, sh it should remove it from the screen that's why you can put it at the top of the page so that's it for deleting the image very easy if you have any question feel free to ask below the video uh, I'm going to do some of the stuff behind the scenes so it should not take time because this series is, I think, taking a little more time than I was expecting. And I should start a new series after this. 
that's why i will do some of the feature behind the scene not very big things uh, especially if you are uploading an image with the same let's try some and we pick another and we pick another if you are uploading images with the same name at the same time it is going to replace the other one which which is in the server so that is one of the issues uh, the reason it does is because we just take the file name and replace it there we never give any unique name for that one so you have to specify a unique name let's see this is the name of the file you have and you can plus that one with any hexadecimal or any random code something like that feel free to challenge yourself and do that but i will do that behind the scene and i will do some cleanup for the product and in the next video we will work on the order and some other cool stuff thank you for watching see you in the next video